Finally, Ben Giddy Baker here at the NAM show. Trying to get this in shot here. This is uh, Chris McKenney of Fun Guy Mojo Cigar Box Guitars out of Long Beach, California. Uh, and he's playing on John Nichols' uh, one man band setup here. Got the, the two drum pedals. Uh, he's got a, a pickup on the low string of that guitar. I'll try to get in and, and show it, but he, uh, a single coil pickup on the low string and he puts that through an octave doubler, which takes it down so it's got, you get that bass thump in there too. It's really a, a cool one-man band setup that John has. And I think we'll get John up there uh, maybe next. All right, let me switch this around. John has, they're actually digital. Let me come in for a close up here. Oh, well, so he, there. He's got, hey, look yeah. what's flying the colors. Wait a minute, I'm trying to get it in shot here. So they're, they're digital, digital drum pedals, so he can bring the volume of them down as low as he wants. Because you know, with actual drums, if you're trying to keep the volume low, you can only go so low and still be playing the drum, but with these, he can put it exactly where he wants it. He's got one that's the bass drum sound, and then the other is the the snare, the higher drum sound. And you'll see he's getting set up there now. That's why I'm talking a little bit, but he really gets to going on them. And I'll try to get some shots of his feet, get him pedaling away there. All right, John, you're on. <laughs> Nothing heavy. Get serious. 
one just quick at the end of that uh -huh. you held the guitar out and shook it why was that uh, for the people watching at home uh, i don't know just flair a little just bit of uh now you get a little tremolo vibrato oh, sound out of it shaking the last note out <laughs> shake out. shake the mojo out of it there like, all right With the guitar channel off, how it's basically a one string bass. Yeah, that's what it is now. Oh, that's it. So, right now, John has the, only the bass pickup going there. See the little one string pickup in the body right there. And that goes through an octave pedal that takes it low. So, it's basically like a, a one string bass he's playing there. Summer Nam show in Nashville, Tennessee. It's the uh, it's the last day of the show, and John drove da uh, drove up from Huntsville yesterday to uh, join us here at the booth, and he got his full rig set up here today, and 
having a good time with it. So uh, this is Cigar Box Nation TV, again, broadcasting live from Nashville at the NAM show. And this is the last day of the show when they let in uh, the public, everybody can come in and check out what's here, what's going on in the music industry. So a lot of people seeing Cigar Box guitars for the first time, and we're trying to make a good impression on them, and John's certainly helping with that. We had Chris McKenney from Fun Guy Mojo Cigar Box Guitars stopping by to say howdy. They've got an awesome booth set up a uh, little down the aisle here with all of the stuff that they build out there in Long Beach. Uh, really good times. So I'm going to switch this camera back around, put it back on John. Check out Fungi Mojo. Looks I guess like I should check in on my booth. Now yes. And then I'm sure they're doing fine. Chris brought a couple of guys with him, Daniel and James. Thank you. Yeah, we're not too far away from each other this time. Yeah. Hop, skip, and jump. Well, yesterday uh, I'm walking down this aisle, and at one of these booths up here, I look over and like, well, holy crap, that's Sam Bush sitting there playing an electric guitar. Oh. You never know who you're going to see walking around here. Yesterday, Vince Gill was walking by our booth. Awesome. And Will calls out, hey, Vince Gill. And he came over, talked to him for a little bit. <laughs> it's great when they sit down and start playing, too, huh? Yeah, we couldn't, get, we couldn't get him to play one, but... Uh, yeah. I think it was this booth right here where Sam was. Showing off some of what we were walking by there. Yeah. A little crowded. 
down at this end of the hall. People trying out guitars everywhere. Daniel here, and Jen, and James came out from Long Beach, California with Chris, and a lot of nice stuff. I'm just going to go get some close-ups, show off what you got here. Daniel is very proud of his bass, <laughs> as well he should be. Take a, look, take a look at this thing, man. That is one of those big Arturo Fuente boxes that are so hard to come by. Now it looks, Daniel, like, is there a... Like, there's some, is that a clear coat? Resin coke? glazed top. Resin glazed top, all right. Nice. Be a little different. How, how far can you push these things? <laughs> Absolutely. What I did on the sides was green gray polyurethane. Okay. And on the back, I decided to triple reinforce with birch. Triple reinforcement on the back. My initial test was leaving it in the backyard overnight. <laughs> Not how you should treat a base. It did just fine. Hopefully not during a rainstorm. Uh, Southern California. <laughs> not many rainstorms so, out there. So what uh, is this? A uh, 34 inch scale? This is a 34 inch. 34. So like, like most electrics. So come 34 to 36. Got some CB Giddy tuners up there on the headstock. We like seeing that. Very nice. You want to play on it a little bit for us? Do a little thumpity thump. CB Giddy knobs. Giddy knobs. Might be a giddy. Well, there's a lot of giddy on that one. <laughs> oh, cool. There's giddy in everything we do. It really is. Honestly, not everything we do. Oh, we appreciate that. Here's the interesting part. So show them the three times right, you show this. Without showing it. We already showed it. This base is balanced. Nice balanced base. So it hangs nice on you. yesterday and I can only do the same thing I play on everything. <laughs> Alright, Chris wants to get a diddly bow down over here. So this is a one string diddly bow. With the pickup. It's actually my favorite toy in the whole booth. Really? <laughs> He's got a little single coil uh, or one pole. Well we'll wait till he gets it set up there. He's got a one pole electric pickup in there. Woo! There he is.
right base. Good stuff, man. Just going to squeeze in and show off some more of the good stuff. At the cigar box ukulele. Four string fretted. Using those nice, those Romeo and Julieta boxes, man. That's those my are... personal guitar there. Oh, really? it a little bit make it your own but yeah Shane uh, posted the plans for these on Cigar Box Nation you can see how to build your own six string lap steel now Chris we had a question about the price ranges for the guitars that you got here what do you yeah well we, we got what we call the fun box which is your plain stripped down Cigar Box guitar Gazo pickup in it nothing to it you yeah, have one
Next door we got him uh, trying out a guitar too, so <laughs> it gets noisy here at the NAMM show. Let me flip this around. Well, I think that's going to do it for this broadcast. Again, this is Cigar Box Nation TV, uh, live from the Summer Dam Show in Nashville, Tennessee. And we ended up here at the Fun Guy Mojo Cigar Box Guitar Booth, showing off some of the good work Chris and the guys have done. So, hope you've enjoyed watching. I want to say happy building to everybody out there. If you haven't built a Cigar Box Guitar yet, get yourself a kit, get some parts, and build one. All right, we are out from Summer Dam.